Well, hooked up behind us. It's got a grunt out here. Got another grunt. Out here out of Sarasota, about seven miles out. We're doing some fishing today. All the boys are out of school. We're on Christmas break right now. It's pouring down rain, 57 this morning. They still wanted to go. Got one to two foot seas, but we're here to catch some sheephead and hogfish out here. And uh, we're gonna see what we can catch and see what we can cook up. We're gonna do a little cook, clean, and catch today. And uh, first spot though, first drop, two grunts. Let's see if we can find some mangroves. We have some mangroves, some, I don't know, some sheephead, some hogfish are getting towards the end of the season of those, but we're gonna see if we can catch some of those. Stay tuned, let's see what happens with these boys. They're pumped. A bunch of bait. There's usually big fish somewhere. Definitely fish down there. Mangrove. Put him in a box. Finally. There we go. Edible. What you got yeah, down there? That's so. big. Oh, big sheep's head. Here, I'm gonna grab him when you bring him up. Take your time. That's what we want. Just bring him straight up. I'm gonna lift him. Don't really know. Oh yeah, he's peeing all over the place. Now nice we're talking. Thing. I'm talking sheephead mangrove, two species we're looking for. Doubled up. Looks like a mangrove. Mangrove? No, grunt. Grunt. Little grunt, man. Key was grunt. We all started there today. What you got on that one? This one looks small. I don't even think there is anything anymore. I think mm -hmm. it came off. He's still there. No, it's still there. It's just small. Little grouper. Grouper. Little grouper. Let's go that back. Let's go. That's a better fish. Better fish I don't really want. Bring them straight up. Oh yeah, mangrove. Nice mangrove. Mangrove oh, snapper. Fat. Little fat snappers. We frying up some snapper today. It looks like a little better hit. I'm gonna say it's a little baby grouper. A big mangrove. Big mangrove. Take him in the box. There you go. What we're talking. You doing what? Fishing shrimp. Think that's what it is. I think it's a new rod, a Christmas gift rod. Yeah, that's a lot. No, he bought that. I know, still a Christmas gift to himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude, I should have brought my setup. Then I would be catching him. Yeah, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I was at my. Or you do like him and be sleeping back there and be losing baits back there, taking a nap back there. My setup's on my dad's. Let's see how big it is. Dude, that's, that's, a, big a, that's a big snapper. Fish. Is. Back of the ice chest. We were just talking about big snapper. Don't lose it. I'm not gonna lose it. It's going in. And the cooker, here you go, right here, look. It's about a little more, no, he's more than that. He's like 13 or 14. Yep, I'm gonna say 14. 14. I'm gonna build it. Yep, 14 inches. Nice little mini snapper. Yeah, we take a box of those. Keep going up. Watch his mouth. Yeah, not sure. Watch that mouth. Right yeah, there. like 13. 13 and a half. Yep. Go right in the box with him. Just thought he had a snag. Snagged on a fish. All right, no more real little grouper. Gag yeah, grouper. Baby groupers. Little guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a better one. That's a better bite. Better bite. That's my keep. Another oh, that keeper. keeps. Nice, good mangrove. Nice mangrove. Looks like mangrove's gonna be the ticket right now. Oh, another mangrove. Come on, flip them in, flip them. What bass fishing here? Next time, leave a little extra line out. Leave about six, seven feet, and you can flip them around on the floor and grab them. Just like that. Here you go, close it up. There you got them. Nice, Finally. nice, took nice. Forever, bro. Nice mangroves coming in. I like mangrove. Everyone likes mangrove. Mangroves and sheep heads. That's what we're filling it up with. A bunch of mangroves and sheep heads coming in now. Gotta ice them up. Come on, Tristan. We need some more mangroves. Groupers are out of season. All right, groupers are out of season. These are good size. Perfect eating size too. Yeah. Perfect eating size. Number five. Number five. Now Tristan's coming to play. It's like the mangroves are firing up on this side. 
Good, good pull. Good pull. It's a mangrove. Mangrove? Or, yeah. Oh yeah, perfect mangrove. Bring him up in. Holy swallowed that thing. Oh, I got him. Catch him. <laughs> Oh, that's a oh yeah, good mangrove. So that's like number six or seven mangroves and one sheephead. Looks like it's gonna be the name of the game today, but you never know what you're gonna catch fishing on the bottom out here. Um, tide's just starting to move, so they finally starting to bite. That's like three in a row. We had a slack tide, uh, so it's incoming coming from the south with a south wind, so it should help it get going. So we'll see what happens. That's lane number six or seven. So happy with this. It was a rough, rough morning. So I didn't know what we were going to get out here. Winds are laying down just enough to allow the trolling motor to hold. And uh, let's get it. Ooh, woo. What'd you hook? Uh, I think a shark might have ate your bait. Yeah, you got a shark. Hold on, stop pulling up. Yeah, okay, you got shark. sharked. I got sharked? You got sharked. Think I can get another one? No, you ain't getting one right now. He's gonna spoil you. And try to fight it if you want. Yeah, try to fight it see if you get your fish back. He gets fish back. I don't know, he's probably in the rocks. I don't know if he got grouper. Keep real, real, real. Oh, yeah, you might have a big grouper. Kind of slowly pull up. Pull up, pull up. Don't give him any. Not too hard. Go, go, go. Don't give him any slack. Don't give him any slack. Don't give him any slack, you're giving it to him. I think you got a grouper. Whatever it is, it's big. Hold on. I don't think it's a shark. It would have cut yeah, him already. Shark no, it would have ran. It's a big grouper or something. Right? That'd be a Goliath. A Goliath? I don't know, but you, you're gonna, you're not going to win this battle on this thing. It's going to fool you. I'm going to see. There's a new hope I can open. No, there's nothing he can do. He doesn't have a rod. You're going in on the 4K? I'm going to reel mine in. Slowly up, slow up, just slowly work up. I mean, he's pulling on you. I think he is. Good day. Waiting for him to let go of that bait. Uh, I did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to. Uh, come on, Tristan, pull him in. Uh, grunt. Mangrove, throw him in. Catch him. Another mangrove. So that last bite Tristan had got sharked. We ended up losing him in the rocks. He uh, probably had another mangrove on that shark come through there and just, just grabbed the whole of it. And we tried to see if he'll let it go or if we get a look at him, but uh, on a little uh, medium heavy rod, uh, seven foot rod, inshore rod, we don't stand much of a chance against a shark. So, But he redeemed himself with another mangrove. Another mangrove in the box. Oh, oh Tristan picked him up. He picked up your fish for you. Just got your bait and Tristan got his hook. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what happened. I gotta eat some that's more small shrimp. Though. All right, it's still a keeper of mangrove as a mangrove. Yeah. Oh, it's small. Never mind. It's a grind. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're not gonna give any credit for that one, Tristan. <laughs> I don't count to the numbers. You don't get credit. We're letting that one go. At least it's not a catfish. You don't. That was little mangrove. Mangrove. Is that keeper? Oof. Gonna be borderline. If they borderline, we're probably gonna let him ride. Send them back. Send them back? Yeah, if they board along, we let them ride. They'll at least be an inch or two over. The legal size. How's your team now? Ready? There, Tristan. Thread that shrimp back on there and send her back down. Thread it back on there. That's small. Ooh, yeah, it's all grunts over here on the side. It's funny. So we're noticing the whole left side of the boat there's mangroves, the right side is all grunts. So all the boys have shifted over the left side. And uh, we got nine or 10, we're working at them. It's nothing fast and furious, but we're working at them. Let's see, we're gonna make a little move in a second, see what happens. I noticed Tristan wants to put his foot up. Yeah, he, he's, he's the lounge fisherman. He's your, your relaxed fisherman back there. Takes a nap and catches a That's fish. That's nice. There you go, flip him in the boat. In the boat, in the boat. There you go, boom. Look at that, right into his hands. That's how you do it. That's how you do nice it. Nice and relaxed. Relaxed fishing, huh? Robert, the rod holder, might have to hold my rod a little bit while I eat. Something. Rodney, Rodney, the rod holder. Robert. Oh, Rodney. Throw out your bait. Yeah, Rodney. Want to throw them in there? I can't remember what it's called. I knew there was a name for it. <laughs>
Riding the ride right over. What? Where the Encrustables? I didn't get it. Hey, no, nah, he says there's the seat. You gotta click it and roll it out. There's two packs of them in there. We got there another mangrove. Yeah. Uh -huh. We love another mangrove box. Try to take my one? spot. Yeah. Yeah, he's legal. He's going in the box. Now, time to drop. That side of the boat's catching everything. It really is. Throw in the box. I got you. I'll open it for you. Number 10. That's the biggest one's yours? No, Finn got the biggest one. He got the longest one. You I got the, the fattest, fattest one? Probably because I'm the fattest one here, bro. I've got the most. Yeah. He got the old man stance. Look at his leg. Football fisherman over there. We gotta get him a front seat. There you go, mangrove keeper. Ooh, that one's jammed up in his belly. Thank God he's a keeper. Yeah, we're gonna get pliers on that one. Relax fishing. Relax fishing, that's the name of the game. Wanna trust them? It's working today. Eye on them. What you got, Max? Oh, grunting it up, huh? Time for a move, I think, guys. We're gonna make a little move real quick. See if we can't get it all in. But we got about 15 mangroves out of there and uh, one sheephead. Don't know what we're gonna do to cook, clean, catch of. Might be some mangrove, might be some sheep pit. I don't know. I ain't really figured that out yet, but uh, we'll be getting to that soon. We'll go hit one more spot, see what happens. We think that shark earlier wasn't a shark. We think it's a Goliath grouper because he kept taking us into rocks. We kept trying to turn him. And once again, another day I didn't bring the big gear out because uh, I didn't think we would be able to run out here with the rough weather. I thought we were going to be fishing on the inside, but we barely had enough of a window and light enough winds to get out here. So I didn't bring it. So we really don't know what it is, but I'm going to go... 80% sure it's a Goliath, so make a shift. Let's see what happens in this last spot with these boys. Lost him, we wrenched him. He's there, he's there. Yeah. He came back and ate it. What you got? Mangrove? Hey, oh, hey, Tristan, Yo. clean up your line. You all tangled up. Yep. You all tangled up with him. Keep reeling that one up, too. There yeah, you go, big sir. sheep. Oh, you're reeling too high. Let's line up. All right. Bring him right to me. Don't reel him more. Big sheep head. Good sheep head. Good sheep head. Finally. One on one, you got one. I'm getting them fast up. Grouper. <laughs> I don't want to lose fish, that's why. <laughs> that causes you to lose them sometimes. You gotta let them work a little. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did he just get you in the rocks? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, oh, that bad. He's back. <laughs> the Jewfish is back. The Jewfish followed us to the spot. Boy, that moves a little bit. Oh, yeah, you move them all you want. He goes in them rocks down there. That's it. I got him out. Uh huh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you got him. I got him out, though. Yeah, you got him out. <laughs> see, Tristan, I told you I could turn him. Uh huh. Uh huh. You got him out, all right. Oh, I got my looper. Got a black grouper? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's a gag. Yeah. Oh, Another gag grouper. So many gags. Oh, all right, uh -huh. so that's the last one for this ride. We got a bunch of sheep head. Bunch of mangroves. We're gonna take it on in, go get them cleaned up, and then, uh, do a little cleaning and cooking. I don't know what we're cooking yet, but we're cooking up something. See y'all back at the dock. All right, so we made it back to the house and uh, decided to do up the mangrove snapper. Okay, I went ahead and cleaned it already, as you'll see right here. Okay, we cleaned it. Make sure we took all the bones out the edges here, okay, on both sides. And then I went and patted it down with a, uh, with a paper towel to get that water off of it, okay. What I'm going to end up doing is some blackened snapper tacos. It's an easy thing after you've been fishing all day, and it's an easy thing to do. So the seasoning I like to use, Redfish Magic, okay. I've been using this in Louisiana for years. It's my go-to seasoning. I also, let me see if I get this real quick. I also keep one of these around, okay? Got the black stone going. I want this thing about 400 degrees. And I've been heating it up. And if you look at it, you kind of see on there, once we get it zoomed in, it's almost at 400, you know, pretty darn close. But it'll get there, crank it up a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil down. Set this one down. 
a little bit of olive oil. Actually, this is uh, uh, avocado oil. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my seasoning and I'm gonna drench one side of them. Really good. Okay, getting low on seasoning. I need to get on Amazon and order some more. We don't sell locally here in Florida. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those right in the oil, face down, and you'll hear them sizzle. A little more oil on there. Now I'm only making one round of tacos, you know, depending on how many people you have is how many tacos you make. But I'm only making one round because, you know, we're really not that hungry. We just went fishing. We ate a bunch of snacks, stuff like that. So I'm gonna let that cook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook that till the edges turn what they call opaque. So all this stuff's gonna start turning white around the edges on it. As you can see, it's starting to do there. Okay, I'm gonna cook it there. Now, and I'm gonna throw my seasoning on the other side now. They're ready to go. Now, one thing I do when we do tacos, okay, this is taco specific, is I'm gonna overcook that meat just a little bit. I like it firm in a taco. You don't like it really watery. It's not, you know, you don't want it soft, soft, soft. You want some kind of firm meat to it. So I'm gonna a little overcook it, probably an extra minute. Okay, it usually takes about three minutes on each side. I'm probably gonna go four. These little ones, I'll probably still go three though. They're, they're little bitty ones. They're gonna make a perfect taco. So we're gonna cook those down real quick. So it's been about three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and spatula these things up, and flip them on over. I always use a metal spatula too, because on fish, you really wanna get underneath it good. So my fish is just about done. Okay, so I'm gonna take and hurry up and throw some tortillas on. I'm just making three tacos. Okay, and I'm just gonna let those kind of warm up on there for a second. Now what I'm going to make for my slaw, I'm going to take some coleslaw, some uh, cabbage um, slaw and I'm going to take some avocado oil. Okay, got some just regular avocado oil, public avocado oil. I'll throw a little bit of that in there. Okay, then I'm going to take some cilantro, break it all up in there. This is a real simple way to make good fresh tacos with fresh meat. Then I'm going to take some limes. I'm going to squeeze those right in there. Okay, put two on the side for somebody else that wants them. If you want a little extra lime juice, that's the way to do it. All right, and I'm gonna mix this up real quick. A little bit more avocado oil in there. All right, I'm gonna take these tortillas. Where's our, uh, there it is. I'm gonna set these in there. Make two of them for now. Okay. I'm gonna take my fish, go right in there with it. Right in that taco with it. That one right now. All right, then I'm gonna take my slaw. And I'm just gonna load it in there. I like to put it right on the side of it. Put some cilantro on top. Okay. And that's going to be some easy snapper tacos. Easy way to make a quick meal. You make a little side with a little corn, a little beans with it. You got some extra uh, limes for it. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Sometimes we'll do easy ways to cook it and we'll get a little more complicated with it too. But this is just a good, easy way to have a good meal after fishing all day. It's fresh, it's easy, it's quick. So see y'all next time.